Today we're going to look at once you've set your scene already on your Google Slides and you're ready to add your video and how to format our videos to be the correct size as well as how to animate them and edit them. So let's look. At the beginning, I've already set my slide. I am very satisfied with the way the slide looks. Now I'm ready to add the video into this scene. So first things first, you will grab the link. I put my links at the bottom in the notes. So I control C to grab the entire link and then I'm going to hit insert video and then I'm going to hit control V that copies it and then I click on the video and when you click on the video there's a light at the bottom it says select you will select once you have selected your video now let's go to the next to three slides and do the same again you will control C insert video control V search click select and for our third one we will do the same highlight control C insert video highlight that control V search bar click on the video and select so now we have our three videos that I'm adding to the end of my slides and I want to know what is the size that I used for all the other slides because I want to make sure that they're the same so I'm going to go into the next slide where it's already been done and I'm going to get the measurements and this is where you're going to see the format pop up I'm going to move this over you will see the format bar pop up and when it pops up it's giving me the size I just hit the size right here and it's 505 and 259 so I now know they're 505 259 so let's go over and let's do these videos and click on those videos once you touch them the format bar comes I want 5.05 2.59 okay let's do that again 5.05 and then 2.59 and my third time is the charm 5.05 height 2.59 okay now I'll draw and drag each video into the middle of the board go to the next slide I'm going to drag that one and the third slide I'm going to drag that one now they're there this is another part of our editing what we're going to do now is I'm going to edit the size of the video I want to make the video smaller for during the lesson with the kids so I'm going to not click this side but click the right side and click play as soon as you do that you'll see this part will light up so as soon as I click play I decide where I will start the video I'll start here and then for time's sake, I'm going to go to the end of the video and I will stop it. So now a three minute video now became 2.34. And how do I want this video to play when I land on the slide? I want it to be automatic. You have three choices. Click, play on click. If you have multiple videos on the slide, play automatically. This is fine if it's by itself. I like these to play automatically. And you are all set for that. And you're gonna do the same with the next one. You touch the video. Do not click, click play here. You click it on the right. And I'm looking to where I want to start this song. I will start it right here and I'm going to go to the end a 
okay? And I took that now to 256. And I want this again to play automatically. Then let's check, this will be the third one that we're gonna do. Play it, the blue lights, the blue appears. And I will start here and I will end at the end. Well, I like it a little bit longer. I will end it right here, okay. And then again, play automatically. Now, what you want to do after you're done, you wanna make sure that your animations are correct. Let me just slide this one right here a little bit more. You wanna make sure that you've animated it properly and that they're gonna be working in the class. You always check your links before you present this in the class because sometimes your links do not go in the right places. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this into present and let me just put the video into present. You're not gonna see the whole thing because right now, I'm gonna go back to the classroom. I wanted to create it in a way that it's clearer for everyone. Let me just go back to the class and I'm gonna slide this over. I just wanted to make it clear picture so I didn't do the entire present screen because I have a very wide screen computer. So we're looking at the classroom and I wanna make sure all the links that I've inserted are working properly. And I will show you two once I get into one. So let's click the number song. It started automatically, it's perfect. And then look over on the right, I'm sorry, on the bottom left and there's a school, I click that and it goes back to the classroom. So let to the class and then let me slide this back up and let me check the other links. Okay, alphabet, working. Click my school, I'm going back. Phonics, it's working. Months of the year, great. Colors, good. Shapes, good. And let's do days of the week. Good. And then we have two hidden links and one is the daily song. Okay, that one just has to be fixed as you see. This is why you check. This one is not moving automatically. I have to fix that one. And then there is a brain break um, choice board. And I'll click that. And these will not also, these right here, I do not want them to run automatically because if they run automatically, you'll have six videos going at once. And when you do play smaller videos or any, you just hit your click, your link, and you will hit full screen, and then you hit exit to get out of it, and then you can stop it. So again, you will, to make the videos larger, you just click the video, enlarge it, and escape, and stop and you can stop the video. And this is how you use your links uh, within and edit your videos to the correct sizes. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, you can always reach me at brenda at vlerock.com and leave a comment below and I can also answer questions there. Have a great day. Bye.